What's up YouTube? Jeff here, Godbolt Exotics. Um, I have a couple unboxings today and I wanted to do those for you guys. Um, this first one, I know you guys like unboxings, but uh, this first one, I'm kind of excited about it. This is a new species for me, um, but it's one that I've had my eye on for really a couple years and just the opportunity presented itself for me to get one and I know that I could verify the lineage on this one so it made it that much more appealing to me but um, let me get into this all right this one all right oh now this animal was produced by Venrusu, Venruso, purchased from uh, Jungle Bob's. Um, anyway, nice guy. Uh, but this is a Hypo Sonoran Boa. These guys are really, really cool and wow. Oh man, very, very pretty. This is a female. You can tell right off the bat that it's hypo. Harley, back off. Sorry, Harley's here. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the colors are outstanding. Um, now, hypo melanistic means that it's void of all the uh, melanin. So, you guys might be thinking that, that there's melanin on this animal, but there's this actually is brown, so there's no black. Um, and so, like, I'm not huge on morphs. They're very few, as you guys know. I do like uh, the calicos with the Amazon tree boas. Um, I like the hypos, uh, Brazilian rainbows. Um, I love hypo anything, uh, but probably one of my favorite uh, morph combos is the hypo leopard, which are Sonorans. Now, I don't like intergrades, so I want stuff that's locality specific, and if I do have a morph, I want it to stay within that subspecies. Um, so these guys are Sonorans. This is pure Sonoran. It was produced by Vin Russo, um, verified. Uh, Vin actually dropped this animal off at um, the shop that I bought it at. So, um, but anyway, really pretty. I'm gonna probably be getting, this is a female, so I'm gonna be getting a male um, that is a hypo uh, leopard or possibly a leopard head hypo, um, some combination. Uh, there, but I really really have gotten into these locality boas um, You guys know I love the stuff from South America So I'm really excited to have this animal and to be working with it and to uh, add the species to uh, To the to the group um, now these guys stay pretty small Which is another reason that I like them um, You guys know I have the uh, Tamalipas uh, cloud force boas um, so uh, pretty mild species mild tempered they stay small so i'm really excited to have them anyway i'm going to put this this girl in here um all right so she's in there and now i'm going to open this one up now this one i wanted to save for last because these are all going to be for sale um i got these from uh he asked that i not uh disclose his name and I'll explain why that's a cop-out for a lot of guys and that's code for like imported animals um, but that's not the case with these these are actually captive born or bred from an old friend of mine old as in 
he and I go way back to when, uh, you know, a Amazon True Billows were kind of um, that little, like, ugly stepchild of the Tree Billow world. But uh, he and I go way back, and this goes back to when I was married um, in my last marriage. Um, when I lived in Florida, I used to hang out with this guy and his partner all the time. Um, well, not all the time, but often. Uh, they lived close to me, um, and I would drive down, and they worked with Amazon specifically. Well, they got out for the most part. One got out completely, and one of the guys that uh, is a partner, uh, one of the partners of the group, um, still keeps a small, a pretty small group. Anyway, he doesn't do the internet. He has no interest in it. He has no interest in selling to people. Um, so, you know, he and I have an arrangement to where if he produces something and he doesn't want to keep it, he sells it to me and then I sell it on my own. So um, this is a small litter from him. I got these guys um, uh, from him and they are unsexed, but they're very, very pretty animals. These are captive born and bred. Uh, one is from a, like a reddish, orangish, multicolored uh, parent. And the other one is a yellow uh, parent with a little bit of black, but um, let me see if I can this is one here, all yellow. Uh, it's actually like, really, there's this is like a patternless yellow, actually. Oh, whoops, sorry. Looks like there might be some pattern that may come in later on, but I'm not quite sure. But right now, that's a patternless yellow. I thought there was pattern on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, put this animal in the cup. I'll take these out again here uh, pretty soon. This animal is pretty heavily patterned. You can see that. Uh, it's probably easier than me uh, taking it out, but this animal's probably going to get some orange. Uh, it's got a really, really patterned head to it. Let's see if I can get it to turn around. Come here, dude. It's not turning its head around. You're wanting to climb on the microphone, stop. Anyway, pretty heavily patterned, you can see, um, but it's very, very pretty, uh, very nice. Um, it's captive born and bred, so that's a step up. Um, and look at you trying to bite. <laughs> He's coming out trying to bite me. <laughs> they have so much attitude at this age. It's funny. All right. Here. This is fun. Look at that. Look, it's opening its mouth. That's great. Get in there, stupid. So this is how I get them in when they don't want to behave, to cooperate. <laughs> Inch at a time. <laughs> okay. All right. So the other one is actually the same as the first, is very similar to the first one, except with a little bit more orange banding on it. Um, now these guys are unsexed, um, but uh, I could, I'm probably not going to sex them at this age. Um, they'll probably be sold unsexed. Um, if they were to be sexed uh, and one was female or male, um, the price would probably go up on them. But uh, anyway, I've only got three, just small assortment, but they're from the same litter and they're very, very uh, nice babies. Um, and if you guys are interested, you're welcome to hit me up and uh, we can discuss pricing and shipping and all that stuff. Uh, you can do that by reaching out to me via text message at 904-434-3926, or you can reach out to me via email at godboldexotics at gmail.com or you can private message me on Facebook which is probably the easiest way 
um, but you have the other the other options if you don't do Facebook. Um, either way, um, I've only got three. They're not sexed. I'd be happy to shoot you a couple tub photos, but they will be um, for sale once I get a few meals in them. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Amazon tree boas, Sonoran. Uh, do they call them Sonoran red tail? It's not really a red tail. Sonoran boa. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys liked it. Peace. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Until the next time you've been uh, watching. Uh, I'm tired. You've been watching Godville Exotics. <laughs>